It's so damn dark in here. You'd think it was like a tomb or something. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I am the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we are going to go after Scavenger Matron Gorgon Boss. Go, uh, Gor Gorger, sorry. Gorger Boss. Not Gorgon. Gorgon's like the snake-headed boss. Uh, anyway, not even in this game. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're going to go after Scavenger Matron to get her head so that we can upgrade the altar to flame level 3. Um, before we do that, a couple things we're going to do around the base. Um, uh, the hunter here has the better wax torch, um, which we're going to make. So we need twigs, cloth, resin, and wax. Twigs, cloth, resin, and uh, wax. That is the best torch in the game. Uh, I, I think it is anyways, unless they added something new. Uh, all right, so that'll be our new torch. We no longer need this thing. We'll just delete it. And um, I think that's all we want from her. I did have her make us a carpet. So we have a nice little rug here so we get some extra um, rested buff. Uh, all right, now I think what we need to do is we need to here hold on we need to do if we do this a uh, little bit here we go staffs and spells this might open up like mana potion stuff to us um so let's just do that now we're not going to actually use the staff because the one we have is better but for purposes of the quest we will make it uh we need four bone meal and three shroud wood Um, let's put, I think we needed resin for that too. Let's put the wax back in here. Grab the bone meal out of here. Okay, spiritual cane. May the flame guide your way. Okay. Yeah, so... So that took care of that. Now, did that open up more stuff? Whatever it is, I can We are specks of dust and whirlwind of stars, my friend. Oh, good. This is the eternal spell quest. Okay, good. I'm glad we did. Uh, I I did that because um, we we want to get this. In fact, we might prioritize this before we even do Matron. Um, it did not open up any more potions for us though. Oh, he's got this thing called warm white glowing substance. That is new. That was not in the original version of the game. I have no idea what it does, but it might open something up for us. So let's pin that. And we'll go... Uh, we have everything we need except for the mycelium. So we'll go grab some mycelium Feel the spirits of nature. to do that. Uh, is there anything you want us to do? I don't think so. I think we're good to go now get back for him. Okay, we'll put that back in there and that back in there. This we don't need for anything. Um, so let's just delete it. Bone meal can go back in here. All right, we're going to go grab some mycelium. So that we can make this stuff and uh, see, you know, what it opens up for us. Here, let's get this other guy too. He's going to ambush us probably. And you too. Okay, let's get some mycelium. All right, we also need some bone meal. Let's grab some of that and some wood acid. 
All right, let's make this stuff and see what happens. Mycelium. What is that? That thing you carry, mycelium. Flameborn, I advise you to be cautious. What you're holding is highly dangerous. It's a disease. It's suffering. It's a fungus that aims to devour our world. And on and on and on. Okay. Um. Okay, let's craft you. Safe travels. This material glows in a warm white light. It's an alchemical miracle. All right. Did that open up anything else for us? Doesn't appear that it did. So I'm assuming this is something we will need later on for some reason. Uh, let's do another heal channel. I will pray for your well, thank you. Okay. We will put... Uh, Put that in there for now, since I don't know what I need it for. And get a couple more things put away, and then we'll set out. All right, we are going to do the Eternal Spell uh, first, before we do anything else. we got to go to a buried tomb to get this. And this is quite a ways beyond the Hunter. And, you know, as fate would have it, I, <laughs> I picked up the damn... Um, altar that I had over there. So I guess we go to the spire. We fly over there. Or you know what? Actually, I think we might be able to do is we might be able to go down and cross over this way, which will get us close to the carpenter. And we we made as uh, mate might. We might as well do the carpenter while we're down there. Oh, but here's the thing. I don't know if we can cross through the shroud right there. All right, you know, let, let's stick with plan A. Let's go do Scavenger Matron first. Um, and she's going to be kind of up in this area, as I recall. we got to do Story of Rot, too, at some point. Yeah, so let's stick with plan A. We'll get the Matron head first, and then we'll then we'll probably go to get the, the Eternal uh, Ice Bolt. I think that's going to be our plan. Um... Oh shit! I uh, hold on a second. Crafts people. Where is this? Uh, what I'm I'm trying to do is Balthazar. I, I'm trying to unpin this recipe, but. The thing that I don't like is I don't know how to get rid of it without going back into the menu, which means we have to go back home to do that, which is kind of a pain in the ass. There should be a way to just remove it no matter where you are. I would think anyways. All right, let's go to here and unpin. Yeah, it's fascinating. Okay, we have 17 minutes of rested bonus. Um, what we might do is get close to the Matron, put down a an altar, come back here and replenish our rested bonus before we actually take her on. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's probably what we'll do. We should be able to find enough material to make the shrine when we get there. Just to save ourselves a little bit of space. Right, let's head on back. All right, so directly ahead of me, um, almost exactly due north, is the the Queen's Tomb. And in front of the Queen's Tomb on that little hill is where Matron is. So that's where we have to head. Let's make sure we have honey. We're good on water. And let's also take... Well, I should, I want to save that for the actual boss fight. We should be fine. Okay, let's go. We got uh, almost two full rings of stam, so we should be able to get down here without any issue. And there's also a flame altar. Uh, we do need one more spark as well, so we'll grab that. Grab that while we're at it. Okay, 
Okay, that should give us our fifth spark. And we're good to go with that. <clears throat> okay, stamina is all the way back. Let's go. Okay, so these this place might be a tad bit high for us. We're level four. That doesn't mean we can't do it, but we're going to have to really be careful. Uh, so let's build an altar first. And I think what I'll do is I'll build that altar at the back entrance. Uh, oh, shit. There's some wolves. Ah, damn it. I did it again. Had the wrong spell. Yeah, see, these are level 7 wolves. Okay, note to self, make sure your stave is ready. Okay, yo. And actually, we're going to want to use ice bolts on scavengers. But not on the matron. The matron herself, from what I understand, is you want to use, for magic, you want to use either shock or fire damage. But for her minions, we want to use ice damage. So if we put this here, this will also give us a, um, an altar to get to the the queen's tomb when the time comes but that's that's above us at this point we're not uh, quite ready to take that on all right so we'll put the altar there uh, there's actually a repair bench right up in here so we don't not too worried about that okay let's go do this um let's see how things go I think at this point I'm going to buff up, so let's take health, intellect, and um, whatever the mana one is. See, we've already... What is this? Oh, spirit, right. Okay, spirit. She's already registering on our thing, but she can't... I don't think she can get us down here. So we, got, we just have to deal with their baddies first. Uh, of which, there's one right there. Okay. Uh, ice bolt. And stay down. Okay, let's deal... with you. And we're out of stamina. Switch to this wand. Okay, there could be someone coming from behind. Yeah. We should be using fire for him, but that's okay. He's not quite as hard to kill. Uh, where did that other guy go? Okay, let's loot these guys. Okay, shit. I don't want to take on multiple at the same time. Let's just retreat a little bit here. I'm just, like I said, I just want to be careful because we're... This is a little bit higher level than we should be doing. But we can do it if we do it smart, if we play it smart. Okay, let's switch back to our st our staff here. Oh, 
Oh, he's right there. Shit. Okay. Okay, uh, pause the screen if you want to read that. Let's see what's in here. Life leech chance. That's a nice ring. Um, restores part of the damage dealt this health. We'd have to give up. I, I think the stamina regen one is probably better than this one. So maybe we'll replace it with that. And we'll see how that goes for us. All right, we have a, a minute to a uh, little bit of breathing space here. Let's repair. There's still a lot more enemies in this town. And so, you know, what we need to do is we need to, uh, we need to clear out all the trash around the boss so they're not interfering with us when we're trying to take her on. Heal up here. And I think I'm... S well, here. We, we can take one of these. Let's wait, though, until we actually engage the boss or right before, before we do the flask of the fell. And, of course, it's dark. Oh, we got company. Ice bolt. Him off with this. All right. Tell you what, we're going to go home because everything we've cleared so far should stay cleared, I think. I hope that's the case anyway, because I don't want to do this in the dark. Okay. We are back here the next morning. Chest didn't reset, did it? No, I didn't think so. Okay. All right, so let's continue to clear trash. Um, it's probably more important that we get stuff on this other side, but let's just kind of clear these guys out too. Lots of repair benches around here. There's the boss up there. There we go. The nice thing about the ice ball spell is it does the slowing. Uh, the slowing thing. around up here. Whoops. Nice. Okay, I think we're good on this side. Let's go up through here and deal with anybody that might come around this way. Alright, we're going to switch to Fire Wand. And get wrecked. You know what I'm thinking might actually be a good idea is for us to carry two two staves, 
One dedicated to healing and then one for damage. I have to keep that uh, idea in mind. I'm not seeing anybody. Down through here. Let's go around this way. There's a chest. Okay, there's a guy up on the ramparts here. I was afraid that was going to happen. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, can we get him from down here? Yep. He did. Okay, there's the tunnel there. That might clear all the trash out. Yeah, I think we probably got most or all of them. Okay, yeah, so it should just be me and the boss. Let's repair. Re repair. Let's make sure we're fully healed. Uh, we're good on our intelligence and our food buff, but uh, we do need to replenish our spirit. And let's also now take Flask of the Fell. Uh, we're good on our elixir, our elixir buff. Um, so yeah, I think we're as buffed as we can be. Change that to Fireball. All right, let's try this. <clears throat> We've got to, we cannot let her acid spit us. She will one shot us and then some if that acid hits us. Where's she at? Um, what are you doing? Okay. We got her down over half. Let's get our, uh, wait for our mana to replenish. We, I mean, we might as well save the, the potion if we have the time, which it looks like she's going to give us the time. But we do have to stay close to her because if we get too far away... You know, then she'll reset. I'm in a bad spot right now. Okay. Just waiting for my mana to come back. Okay, let her do her next throw. Okay. Uh, we gotta time this right. Okay. Uh, yeah, come up, come out this way, lady. I don't know if that last one actually hit.
Got her. Whew. Okay, we got the improved grappling hook, too. Very nice. All right, let's wait for that shit to dissipate. That wasn't too bad. We got a new Shepherd's Lightning Staff. It is a level 7 with 20 power. Uh, better than our level 6, for sure, especially after we upgrade it. So that was nice. And uh, we also have... Uh, we also have a gold chest right around the corner here. With a nice bow upgrade. Not that we care a whole lot about that, but hey, whatever, you know. So we'll take... Uh, see, this is a level 7 versus the 3, so we'll... Um, unequip that and salvage it. And we'll equip this. Nice, okay. And let's see, there's also a... Uh, yeah, there's a normal chest here. I think that's it. So that was good, man. We got it. We got a nice little staff upgrade. More importantly, though, we got her head, which we need for the flame altar upgrade. Oh, you know what? There's a bomb down there. I don't. Uh, I don't think it'll go off though, unless we. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we don't need it to go off. Um. Make that one go off just to get some resources. Uh, speaking of which, there's some of that. Alright, I think we're finished here. Let's go back home. Get uh, situated. Get our, our new staff upgraded with the runes. And then we'll then I think we're gonna go after the Eternal Ice Bolt spell next. That seems to make the most sense. I'm gonna leave this altar here because it'll get us close to the Queen's tomb when it, the time comes for us to do that um, uh, do that quest. Okay, so let's do our flame upgrade first. Strength and flame. Uh, we need wax, salt, five sparks, shroud wood, flint stone, charcoal. In the Matron head. Huzzah! Flame level three. Fantastic. Okay, so that added uh, more uh, to our attributes here. So it makes us stronger. We can go. We should be able to get into Revelwood now and cross the Revelwood shroud uh, level, and we have more time in the shroud. And we can also put down um, a total of six altars from four which is what it was before love it okay um let me put a couple things back in here next thing we want to do is upgrade our staff so let's do enhance equipment shepherd's lightning so mana regen, brutal, critical hit damage by 20%, which is good, and critical hit chance. Now, I think what I'm going to do, see you soon. I think I'm going to do what I had suggested. I'm going to, we don't need bandages and potions on, on, on the hot bar. So this is going to become our healing staff. And this is going to be our damage staff. So if we go here, we should be able to assign heal channel to this. And if we go here, we should be able to assign, you know, ice bolt or fireball or whatever we're doing. So if I go to eight, it should still be on healing, right? Oh, does it not work that way? So I can't, like, exclusively assign heal to that and... Oh, uh, okay. Well, so much for that idea then, huh? Hmm. Well, that sucks. Okay. I mean, it still could make sense to have an extra staff as a backup. But we also have the wands as backups, too. And just because space is kind of a limitation, I think we're going to go ahead and turn that into runes. Cool. A uh, very nice upgrade for us, though, on the staff, for sure. Let's go to here. Uh, go to 
Eternal Spell, which is still our active quest. And I think we're ready to go. We have our full rested buff. We're getting kind of sh uh, kind of low on Aurelian Flower, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so um, I think we're gonna just cross over in uh, this way on foot. There's also a shroud route down there that we can do. And uh, yeah, so let's go. Now we do have to be careful because um, there is uh, some of the the red, you know, lava. What what everybody calls lava, but it's actually cursed water. I think it's probably a more accurate way to put it. And you know what? While we're down here, we might as well run around the corner and grab the flame uh, from the altar. Oh, look at that. I love it when that happens. I don't think we can get in here. This is probably a, a few, you know, for a future something something. Is there anything going on here? Like a chest up here maybe or something? I don't remember. I... I'm not even sure if I've ever been up here. No, guess not. I think it's just a, a lookout. And yes, I am aware that I have not buffed yet. I'm purpose, purposefully waiting until we get into the danger zone. There shouldn't be anything dangerous around here except for maybe a wolf or two. Oh, here we go. Five resin, nice. We'll take that. Okay. I'm 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 enjoying uh, playing the uh, the wizard so far. It's uh, it's fun. It's a different, you know. You got to do it differently, right? Than uh, an, even an archer or a melee. That's kind of the whole point. So you can re-enjoy the game in a different way. Uh, this is just a big flint mine, it looks like. Okay. Uh, all right, we got a wolf there. We'll just fire one to his ass. Okay, that spire there, or actually more specifically directly ahead of us is where the carpenter is. And that's actually not going to be an easy fight, either. Here's the shroud route. So, yeah, like I said, we got to be careful when we go down here. That we don't land in the red muckety-muck. I think we can aim right for the route and be okay. Uh, Alright, so let's buff up. Uh, we want spirit, intellect, and health. We want a shroud potion and an elixir. And I don't have... Uh, yeah, okay. I don't have a flask of the fill yet. Okay, you should be on fire because fire is good against shroud creatures. Okay, let's go. We might only have to deal with bugs here. Or, on second thought, maybe not. We got one. Oh, shit! Okay. Well, that's one of those ray things, right? No problem, we got this. Man, I, 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 
I didn't realize we were going to be this effective. Maybe these these guys are probably not as high level as I'm giving them credit for. Get up there. Right, let's get, oh shit, I was going to say, let's get rid of this, but... Guess we're not done fighting yet. Shouldn't have wasted a fireball on a damn bug. You, though, you get a fireball. You get a fireball, and you get a fireball, and you get a fireball. Okay. All right, are we clear now? Let's get our wand out just to make sure. Oh, well, we didn't need to run into that. Nope, we got bugs. Anybody else? Yep. All right, let's get rid of this damn thing. Okay. Well, that was a little more exciting than I was anticipating, but it certainly wasn't anything we couldn't handle. All right. Well, anyway, um, we want to get over there. Okay, this is more Winna. I think there's only wolf wolves here. I don't think there's any. Oh, well, there's our level up. Okay. All right, there's a silver chest there. Okay, this is an ice wand. It's level 5, 17 damage. Not as good as our frozen core wand. We'll turn that into runes. Cheesy McSqueezy, those guys. And here's a chest here. Oh, good. We want that. Um, There's probably one or two more chests in here, but I think the silver chest up on that crane thing was the main loot in this place? Maybe. I guess we could run into the house really quick and check. Why not? Wolves in the house? Oh, no. Wolves aren't allowed in the house. Alright, it does not appear to be anything in the upstairs. Uh, you know, at least in the way of like chests and stuff. Grab some string. Probably going to have rats or something down here. No? Okay. What about in here? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty rats.
Uh, literally, dirty rats. I see you. Okay, that takes care of the enemies. Let's bring the light out. We'll take that stuff. And I'm not going to I'm not going to break stuff. It is definitely useful to do that, but I don't think we need to do it. I'm not one of those kind of people who has to do abs get absolutely every possible thing you can loot in the game like some people do and I'm not knocking it. I mean, if that's how you like to play the game, more power to you. Um, but you know, I I don't need to get every single thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, some more healing and ice bolt charges. What we're going to do... You know what I think we're going to actually do is... Let's go do the spire, because that will help us get to the ice bolt, the eternal ice bolt. But we're going to set an altar down so that we can come back and do the carpenter, which we'll do in the next episode. If I try and do this now and then also go after the ice bolt, um, we're just not going to have time to do all that. Okay, so let's pick up some, some stones. And we'll just plop an altar right down in front of here. Okay. Now let's hoof it to the spire. We're going to do a little bit of nighttime running. Okay, we'll do the spire now because it doesn't matter if it's nighttime. And then that'll give us our spawn point over here as well. Uh, okay, two buttons for that door. There's one. Two. That's it. All right. Uh, yeah, let's get the chest too. Metal star mace. Uh, oh, we gotta loot it first. Okay, that's a level 7 with 20 damage versus a level 3 with 14. Um, this is still probably... I mean, if we actually upgraded it. Comparable. So it doesn't really matter because we're not using melee anyway. Uh, while we're here, let's just drop that at least. I want to kind of keep everything else. Next level. Need one button for that. Take the honey. Okay, there's a button over there and a button here. button in there. That's our way out. Let's 
some arrows. Oh. Okay, here we go. Did that open this door? Uh-uh. But it did open that door, which there's probably a treasure in there. Gold. Nice. Ring of mana. I think we'll take that. I think we will take that. Um, I'm going to try and... and uh, uh, hmm. I'm going to try and replace this ring of stamina and we'll just see how we do. If we're really struggling for stamina though, then um, we might have to switch back to it. But let's just see how we do. Okay. How do we get... Uh, oh. Wait. Where's that button at? This is how we came. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. Because we just got the chest on this level. I don't, uh, I don't think there's more than one chest on the... Oh, oh, here we go. Never mind. Never mind. It just makes it easier for us to get to it. Here's a chest. Okay, more fireballs. That's good. All right. Um, I th there's not a button above that door. So I don't know. Does that mean it'll open up for us? I don't remember how we do this. Okay. Let's go this way. In this way. Not that way. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Open. Got some lava in here. A climbing wall. Make sure we're at full stamina. Some steel plates. All right. I think that's just a little bit out of range, so we're going to do this. There we go. More ice bolts. Stamina. Shroud potion. And a button. Looks like that stopped the spikerooskies. And opened the door that we need to go to get out of here. Quit trying to climb down that. And a gold chest. Okay, we've got a new bow out of that deal. Uh, this is a level 7 wildwood versus a level 7 ornate. Doesn't really matter to me. We'll just salvage that one because it looks like they're pretty much the same thing. Close enough to, anyway, to be the same anyways. And I believe we're done here. Let's go.
And we made it to the top. Let's go home, sleep, repair, and then we'll go get our eternal spell. Alright, we are back. And we need to go down there. To get the eternal spell. Yeah, right down there. Uh, okay, yeah, that's... Well, here, let's, let's take a honey. Just to make sure we have enough stamina. And we'll do a water also. Let's take our health food, and we're still pretty good on flasks. Make sure this is on fireball, and let's do this. I don't have a, I don't have a wisp of light potion, unfortunately. So let's keep our fire wand out. That'll give us a little bit of light. Okay, so. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, the honey just wore out, so let's do our intelligence buff. Give us ourselves a heal squirt. Man, it's so damn dark in here. You'd think it was like a tomb or something. Yeah, you're cre creepy crawlies. Room's a dead end. Uh, what's down? Oh, there's just another. Whoops. <laughs> just another coffin down there. Is there anything over here? No. Hey, where'd you come from? All right, continuing in this direction. We have found our room. Oh shit. That is not allowed. Not allowed at all. Oh, we got a summoning vessel. Okay. That's cool. And I think we're I think we're okay. Wait a minute. 
This isn't the room. Oh yeah, it is. We must have got it off the boss guy, the little mini boss. Okay. Awesome! We have our Eternal Ice spell. That does 35 damage compared to 26. Uh, costs a little more mana and another tenth of a second cast time, but it's going to be so worth it. All right. Now, we don't have a lot of time left on our on our flash, so we need to scooch. Oh, shit. Forgot about the spikes. We got to get out of the shroud here. Um, I think we just follow... Yeah, I think we just follow this road up to get out of here. All right, that's a nice milestone for us, guys. Um, getting our first eternal spell. Plus, it's going to save us uh, a slot in our inventory, too. Because I've currently been carrying two things of Ice Bolt. Oh, actually, no. Yes, I have been. Yeah. Okay. I think there is... Fire would be more effective, but this is free. <laughs> well, at least in terms of charges. If we get all the way up to the top there, I think we get out of the shroud. But you know what? Let's um. I'm just trying to see if we can just run out. Oh, maybe we can't. I don't want to go down there. Yeah, we might we might have to We might have to fight our way up there. Uh, we just don't have enough time is the problem. I thought I found a way out of here once though. Without going up this thing, but maybe not. I don't know. Let's just... We're going to have to do this. Oh, we're okay. I thought we, I thought we were going to have to fight our way up here, but apparently not. Okay, we're good. We got this. Uh... Is there a, a chest anywhere up here? I don't see uh, like a grappling hook option. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything up there, but gunk, gunkity goo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this episode. So plan for the next episode is to go after the carpenter. I think we will do the carpenter next only because then we can get a glider upgrade uh, as well as other good things. And then Emily after that, our farmer. And that will get us all of our craftspeople except for the new craftsperson, which we're not going to be able to do until we do our first dungeon, which I'm super looking forward to. Uh, but that's a level 10 dungeon. We are currently 5, so I'm not definitely not going to attempt the dungeon before we hit level 10, and we might even, you know, get a little bit higher than that before we before we attempt it. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, we do have three points, so we're going to put those three points into quick charge, and that means we can cast with, from our staff twice as fast now, which is going to be great. Now, the next thing uh, we're going to go after is Blink. And um, when killing an enemy with a magic weapon, you have a 10% chance to summon a friendly skull companion. Okay, that could be useful. But then, so again, could this... 
This will just give us more intelligence, and this will give us better healing to get to here. I mean, we may eventually do this also, but I, I don't know. I kind of feel like this is going to be more useful to us right here and now. So we're going to hit this intelligence, then we'll hit healer, then we'll get blink, then we'll get emergency blink, and maybe blink attack too. So that's the plan for our skills uh, moving forward. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.